hi guys welcome to my channel my name is joan aoko so i'm going to show you how to crochet this pair of shorts with pockets yeah and the most interesting part about this pattern is we're going to start working on it from the down part like the leg part going up to the waist yeah i know most of the tutorials that i've done before and maybe some that you've seen starts making the shorts from the waist going down but today it's going to be vice versa and another interesting thing is there's no chaining in this pattern so if you are one of those people who hate making foundation chain stitches and then going uh, back on them then this pattern is definitely for you so those are the new techniques i'm going to show you guys yeah and i love how this shorts it's not bulky on the body and that's how the pocket looks like you can make them deep enough or shallow enough depending on how you want it to be and it has a drawstring on the waist to adjust to your liking and that's how the waistband looks like it looks more of a, a knitted effect so if you really like what you're seeing please subscribe to my youtube channel i normally upload videos each and every week i uh, give a like give this video a like leave a comment down below even if it's saying hi yeah so let's get started so for the measurement you need to measure your fuller thigh uh, exactly the part i'm measuring in the video do not measure your mid thigh So for the material I'm using this yarn over here it's 100% cotton yarn and it's a medium weight yarn but you can use any other yarn of your choice as long as it's not chunky so fingering yarn up to medium weight yarn would do and for this yarn I'm going to use 3 millimeter crochet hook most importantly you need tape measure for sizing you need pair of scissors to cut off your ends and tapestry needle to weave in your ends so we're gonna start by making one side of your thigh and there's no chaining in this pattern i'm using here yeah? so start by making a slip knot make sure you leave a long tail because it's going to help us to join the two sides together so now uh, we're going to start making a foundation double crochet start by chaining three one two three so now yarn over and go inside the first chain you made now pull through so now you have three loops on your hook let me just zoom in you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the first one like that so this counts as a chain and now yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops so now you have made a double crochet with a chain one at the bottom part so now yarn over okay at this point you can see clearly how the pattern looks like but after doing uh more more double crochets you're going to see how the pattern is turning out so now insert your hook inside both loops of the chain one i mentioned and pull through like that now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the first one so it's like you've made a chain here like that so now let's complete the double crochet so it's like now after making that chain so it's like you are making a double crochet now so yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through so you've just created a second double crochet yarn over and go inside the chain that we created remember you're going through the both loops and pull through now so now let's create a chain yarn over pull through so it's like you've created a chain here 
and now yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through to complete the double crochet and at this point you can see this is the upper one and this is the down part so repeat this pull insert your hook through two loops at the bottom pull through and now yarn over and make the chain at the bottom yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops so now go ahead and repeat this pattern until you make a, a long double crochet foundation stitches that is equivalent to your thigh size in my case um, i'll be making up to 24 inches thigh so i'm going to stop once i have 24 inches of this particular foundation double crochet like that so i'm done making the double crochet foundation chain stitches and the yarn i'm working with is super stretchy it's stretchy so a little goes a long way so i'm just going to lightly stretch my work and it can stretch up to 24 inches so i have my size but if you're working with a yarn that doesn't stretch please do not over stretch it just stretch just a little bit yeah because remember this thigh size that i'm talking about it's supposed to be the biggest or the fullest part of your thigh because this should be able to accommodate your crotch area and your thigh size as well so that's why i'm saying you measure your fullest part of your thigh all around in inches and if you're not sure do not measure too tightly as well and if you're not sure i suggest that you add a few more inches like two inches for allowance just in case okay so now i have my measurement so the next thing we're going to do once you have your measurement is to slip stitch to join these two sides together so make a slip stitch into the first double crochet which was the chain three and join like that and now this is where this strand is coming in handy you're also going to use it to make a slip stitch on this bottom part and now chain one and tighten it off so now you have circular uh, thigh like this you've already joined it so now let's begin on the next row to begin on the next row chain two and turn your work around do not forget to turn your work around and this chain two counts as your first double crochet it takes the place of this sorry my camera keeps on acting up it's losing focus it takes the place of this double crochet over here so in the next stitch you're going to place your double crochet into that next stitch now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch all around now at the end of the row to make sure that you have placed your double crochets in the correct stitch you can keep on checking with the down double crochet so this double crochet takes the place of this other one and this chain two takes the place of this one, other one so at this point now i'm done with my stitches i'm going to make a slip stitch and see where i'm placing my slip stitch in that space over there 
actually it's basically on top of the second double crochet i don't know if i chose a wrong color for this tutorial because my camera is losing focus i hope it's clear now to begin on the next row chain two keep on turning your work around and this chain two counts as this chain two counts as your first double crochet and now make a double crochet in the next stitch and continue making double crochet in each and every stitch and then at the end of the row you are simply going to make a slip stitch to join and you're going to repeat this pattern over and over again until you have a height that can accommodate your crotch and covers the down part of uh, some part of your thigh so this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about you're going to repeat the pattern over and over again double crochet and then you keep on turning so at this point um i have approximately 2.5 inch and i believe this is going to be enough for me so like these four stitches are going to go around the crotch area and four stitches is going to be more of the height of this short for me but you can make more or less depending on how you need your t uh, your shorts to fit but i think after joining these two sides together it's going to make sense yeah so go ahead and make two parts of this so this is the second one that i'm making once i have two equal parts i'm going to show you what to do next so once you have two of these equal in size we're going to start fixing the crotch area and i'm going to use a darning needle to do so so this is the part where i was making the slip stitch and this is the part I was also making the slip stitch so now the next thing to do is you have to cut your yarn make sure you leave a long chain so at this point you're just going to chain one and pull the yarn so insert yeah you are yarn inside the needle and now we're going to use this to create the crotch area but you can also make a slip stitch but i need my crotch area to be quite smooth so that's why i'm going to use the needle to weave in so this was the middle point where i was making the slip stitch go into this middle point of the other leg and create and join them together like that so we're just going to sew the two sides like this go into the next stitch and go into the next stitch of the other one and sew it together like that cross over onto this other side and onto the other side and pull your yarn like that so i'm going to sew uh, approximately five inches for the crotch area so continue sewing until you fix your crotch area depending on the size you need but i think around five inches for size small to medium is okay for large or extra large you can keep on sewing until your crotch is covered
and into the last stitch I'm going to make more of a tie cross it over that way and tighten it off then you can just remove your needle and you're going to sew it to weave in it later yeah so yay now we have the crotch area it's around five inches for me yeah so at this point she'll be having something like this so yeah so after forming this and this is the crotch area now and actually this now fits my hip size so the next thing we're going to do is to start building up these shorts so I didn't cut my yarn because I've been using two balls at the same time so now I'm going to chain two turn my work around and I'm going to make double crochet in each and every stitch so go ahead and make double crochet I'm going to meet you at this point when you get at the middle point you're just going to make a double crochet in each and every stitch for this row cross over onto this other side and make double crochet in each and every stitch I'm going to meet you at the end of the row which is the starting point of this other side almost completing the row so make your final stitch and then to close up the row you're going to make a slip stitch to join like that so after this row you should be having something like this so before we start making uh, the next row I want you to check whether you have your hip size at this particular point so from this corner to this corner all this the circumference of this if it's your hip size then you don't need to reduce at the center point but if you feel that it's quite buggy for you then I'm going to show you how you're going to reduce your work at the center point as for me I think uh, it's my hip size actually it's my hip size but for the in the in the next row I'm just going to show you how to make the reduction then we proceed with the pattern yeah so make sure that your stitch is at the center point where you joined this as for me uh it's off the center yeah so i need to get my stitch at the center point so i'm just going to turn my work without chaining and this is the center point i need to get my stitch into so let me just make a slip stitch to that center point like that so now let's begin on the next row and we're going to make a reduction on we are going to make two reduction on this leg from this point to this point and then we're going to make two more reduction from this point up to this middle point so to reduce on this other side chain two this acts as your middle double crochet and then in the next stitches you're going to make a reduction so yarn over pull through yarn over go inside the next stitch pull through two loops now you have three yarn over and pull the three so you have lost one stitch over here now go ahead and make a double crochet in each and every stitch So I'm at this center point again and this is my middle stitch so you're going to reduce the two stitches just before your middle stitch make a reduction like that and in the middle stitch you're just going to make plain one plain double crochet 
without a reduction like that so this is the middle point and then now once you cross over on to this other leg side we're going to start by making a reduction so in the next two stitches make a double crochet reduction and now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch and then when we get to the other center point as we close the row we are also going to make a reduction to complete the row make a reduction in the next two stitches like this and then this is the middle chain two double crochet you're going to make a slip stitch on top of it to join and close the row so now you're going to continue reducing your work if there's need for you to do so but if there's no need now we're just going to make plain rows of double crochet and that's what i'm going to start doing next but if your work is still buggy you use the same technique to reduce your work so to begin on the next row chain two turn your work around and now this is a row of double crochet in each and every stitch repeat all around I'm at the end of the row so I'm just going to make my final stitch and make a slip stitch to join make sure you're not losing a stitch remember the guidance is checking with the bottom double crochet if they're matching if they're aligned then you haven't lost a stitch so I went ahead and added eight more rows and let me just use my tape measure to see how many inches so this is the half size of my work and up to this point i'll say it's six inches if i stretch it out it's around 6.5 and i'm working with a total round fly of 22 so at least this side should be by the time i'm done up to the waistband point up to the waistband i should be having 11 inches so 11 times 2 it's going to be a total of 22 because the front will be 11 and then also the back if you measure it it's going to be 11 but it depends uh with the round fly you are working with so this one is for size small to medium so 22 round fly is okay for me for size large you could you can work with 24 inches extra large 26 inches so put that into consideration and that means you need to add a few more rows so do not work with my measurements here so the next thing you're going to do uh you're going to divide your work into two measure corner to corner make sure the front stitches is equivalent to the back stitches So now let's start fixing the pockets attach your yarn on the side make sure you attach it on uh, check your pattern so that it's going to guide you on which side to attach your yarn into so this is the starting point for me i'm going to go into this next stitch and i'm going to make a single crochet by attaching the yarn so now move into the next stitch where you marked and make your single crochet and tighten this and now chain two like this so this is your first double crochet you're going to make double crochet in each and every stitch until you get to this other corner that you've just marked And now I'm um, at the end of this corner to corner. So now in the next stitch, we're going to start making a reduction. 
to begin in the next stitch now chain two turn your work around and the chain two counts as your first double crochet so in the next two stitches we're going to make a reduction so you have lost the stitch over there now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch and then at the end of the row we are also going to make a reduction i'm almost at the end of the row and i have four stitches left one two three four so once you have three stitches left you're going to make a reduction in the next two stitches and then make a double crochet in the last double crochet which is the chain two that we started with i can see my stitches quite well so inside that place your last double crochet now let's repeat one more time making a reduction start by chaining two turn your work around and then make a reduction in the next two stitches So remember this chain two counts as your first double crochet it takes the place of this one over here so in these next two stitches make a reduction now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch I'm at the end of the row and three stitches left this this and this so make a reduction in the next two stitches and then make your final double crochet in the last double crochet like that so now go ahead and repeat the pattern continue reducing your work and remember i had measured from this point to this point it was almost six inches for me so i'm going to add like four more inches from this reduction point over here this row of reduction i'm going to add at least four more stitches so in total i'll be having 10 and then the remaining one inch i'm going to use it to make the um, the ribbed waistband yeah okay yeah so go ahead and reduce your work i'm going to meet you at that point so i'm done reducing my work and it's approximately let me just measure it for you at the starting point to I ended up making almost 4.9 inches let's just say 5 inches and make sure this uh, slanted bit you can actually get your hands inside it so yeah and also the height of this from this crotch area half of the crotch to the upper part it's I ended up making around uh, 11 inches so it's around 11 inches for me which is still fine so the next thing i'm going to do is now to chain one and cut off this yarn cut off the yarn and tighten it off so now the next thing is let's work on the back part as we now fix the pockets So now uh, let's mark the pocket area and it all depends with how deep you need your pockets to be. As for me, I'm going to go like five rows down of this and I need you to trace your stitches onto this corner, your last stitch. 
trace it down make sure it's on the same row so this 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 and mark it up and then also like how wide you want your pocket to be for me it's 25 inches and then i marked the 25th stitch now go on to this other side and repeat the same thing onto this corner over here let me just zoom in and see this is the last stitch i traced it down into the fifth row and marked it and then i have spaced it out using 25 stitches up to this point but it all depends with how you want your pockets to be as for me this is fine by me yeah so once you've traced uh you've marked those areas where you need to place your pockets the next thing to do is to start working on it so take your yarn and this is my fifth stitch uh 25th stitch i mean this one over here so to attach my yarn i'm going to go into this other stitch and place my yarn inside it like that and now go into the stitch that you marked and make a single crochet so that you can get your stitch uh your yarn and hook there so now chain two and this counts as your first double crochet so now fold your work like this and now we're going to make double crochet in those where you have the double crochet you're going to place a double crochet inside the two loops like that and now go into the next stitch as you can see i'm pushing these double crochet double crochets on the left side so in the next stitch make a double crochet keep on pushing them towards one side i'm doing the left side So double crochet in those stitches that you've marked until you reach the end. So I have just made the 25th stitch. And this is how it looks like. And this is how the outer part looks like. But if you stretch it out like that, it's going to level up yeah so once you have these double crochets you're going to go back and forth uh, building it up uh, remember we placed it into the fifth row down so we are going to make five rows up so this is your first row okay it depends with how many rows you went down so chain two and build this up do not decrease you're just going to work in straight line maintaining your number of stitches at the end of the row chain two keep on turning and build up your double crochets and then i'm going to meet you once i'm done with my number of rows So I'm done making the five rows and this is how it looks like. So now repeat the same thing onto this other side. If you have like a different strand of yarn, I suggest do not do not cut off this. Just use another strand of yarn to make uh, the same thing on this other side and then I'm going to meet you at that point. So I have also fixed this other one. They are the there are two of them now this and this also this is five rows and i'm lucky enough to end my yarn on this other side so the next thing we're going to do it's important that you have your yarn on this other side rather than at the corner so now using this strand of yarn you're going to chain two and turn your work around go ahead and make now double crochet 
all up to this corner so once you get at the end of this row the pattern is going to change now i need you to just align your work So this is the part where we are working on. So now I need you to cross over, put your work like this, align it like this, sorry, like this. And now I need you to cross over onto this other side. So now yarn over and inside the last stitch here, you're going to make a double crochet now. Like that. like that now cross over onto this outer part and make double crochet all around so continue making a double crochet all around i'm going to meet you at this corner I'm at the end of this row now take this uh, go on to cross over onto this other side and you're going to yarn over and place a double crochet in the first double crochet now make double crochet in each and every stitch now i'm at the end of the row and let me show you how the work looks like at this point so you have closed up this side double crochet all around and then also this other side you have closed it up and we are at this point now to begin on the next row chain two turn your work around and now make double crochet in each and every stitch so when you get to this corner this one over here you're going to cross over and continue making double crochet now cross over on to this other side you continue making your double crochet so when you get to this corner it's the same thing make double crochet in each and every stitch and cross over on to this other side this side so continue making double crochet until you complete the row up to this point So now to begin on the next row you're going to chain two and then you're going to make double crochet in each and every stitch cross over onto this back part continue making double crochet up to this point when you get to this corner chain two keep on making double crochet back and forth back and forth until you level it up with this upper part up to this point continue building this up to this point and then i'm going to meet you at that point and proceed with the pattern so i'm done leveling up my work so this is the front part and this is how the back part looks like 
and so I have the same number of stitches from this point to upper part it's the same from this point to this upper part so yeah so the next thing we're going to do is to join these two sides together and before we do that I need you to trace uh, you remember you made some stitches uh, while fixing the pocket as for me it's 25 double crochets 25 stitches in which I marked my 25th stitch up to this point it's what I'm talking about so you could be having more you could be having less depending on how many number of stitches you used on this down part so I want you to mark the last stitch and I need you to trace it up so just pick that double crochet and trace it up make sure you're keen on this let me repeat again it's like i've missed a stitch so this belongs to this this 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 and this is my up the upper stitch so i need you to mark that stitch and i need you to repeat the same on to this other side but to make your work easier you don't have to count your number of stitches on this other side i need you to count these top stitches from this starting point up to this as for me it's 12 stitches so i'm going to go on to this other side and count 12 and then mark the 12th stitch but do not mark the 12th stitch mark according to the number of stitches that you have unless you followed everything religiously <laughs> so yeah so once you've marked those two sides the next thing is to uh, bind these two sides together so now i hope you didn't cut your yarn so at this starting point over here now go on to this other side the stitch where you marked and i need you to make a slip stitch like that and now chain two so this chain two counts as your first double crochet turn your work and now we're going to make double crochet in on both sides on this side and on this other side so yarn over insert your hook inside the next double crochet pass it through into this other side and make a double crochet yarn over and then into the next stitch pass it on to the other side and make a double crochet so make double crochet in each and every stitch until you bind the two sides together don't forget to also double crochet in the last stitch which was this chain two don't leave it hanging like that so now I need you to cross over onto this after binding the two sides. Now go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch. Continue this way making double crochet. I'm going to meet you at this corner. 12 stitches left for me. So I'm going to take this other side and align them like that. And now into this 12th stitch, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, and then pass on to the first uh, double crochet of this other side and make the 12th double crochet. And now after joining that, go ahead and 
complete the row by making double crochets in each and every stitch so after joining this other side continue making double crochet in each and every stitch and then i'm going to meet you at the starting point And now at the end of the row, make a slip stitch to join to close up the row. Yay, so now you have this. So at this point, I feel that I have my desired length or is it height of the shorts. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the band. But if you feel the need of increasing the height of your shorts, you can go ahead and make a few more rows of double crochet. It's just plain rows of double crochet. But if you want to make the band like I do, so the next step is chain two. Sorry, chain two turn your work around remember this pattern you'll keep on turning your work around and so now i'm going to work the front post back post so this chain two counts as my first double crochet in the next stitch i want you to make sorry in the next stitch i want you to make a front post in the next stitch make a front post in the next stitch make a back post in the next stitch make a back post so in the next three stitches now make front posts in the next two stitches make a back post so you'll keep on alternating three front post two back post until you complete the row so repeat that i'm going to meet you at the end of the row to complete the row make a slip stitch into the first and then chain two and at the end of this row you should be having something like this so now to begin on the next row after chaining two turn your work around and then where you have at the place of front post you're going to sorry in the next stitch mine is a back post so i'm just going to make a back post so uh, in the place of front post you're going to make now the back post because you are pulling them uh, in the front And then where you have the uh, this back post actually it's like this is your front post after turning so you can make the front post like that so repeat until the end of the row I have completed the second row and this is how it looks like so if you need to add more rows go ahead but as for me this is enough so I'm just going to uh, chain one and cut off my yarn and tighten it off so the final thing we're going to do is to sew the to sew the pockets as you can see they are still open so we're going to sew along that line and also at this small corner over here we're going to sew them up so now let me show you how to sew these two sides together 
in an invisible way so i'm going to use this sewing thread over here i wish i had an orange color so i will suggest you use a sewing thread because it's tiny enough it's not going to be bulky when you sew these two sides together alternatively you can just use the same yarn you used to crochet these shorts but if you can get tiny sewing thread the better since i don't have an orange color i'm just going to use this peach i don't know and then i'm going to change later just for the sake of this tutorial because i don't have a matching color so i have it on my tiniest needle over here so now at this point you can just stretch this a little bit and then at the starting point over here you're going to trace it till up so make sure you sew along that line do not lose a stitch or go in a zig uh, zigzag motion just go in straight line while at the same time matching your stitches so i think i'll just zoom in so um, attach the two sides just a moment so now attach a thread <coughs> sorry and then tie it twice or once so I'm just going to tie mine twice and then leave a long thread you're going to weave this in so now this using this other strand you're just going to sew as you can see i'm not passing the needle it's not showing on this other side i'm just picking on top of that stitch just on top of it and then sewing make sure you're matching your rows so make sure the row of this side is placed on this row like that so keep sewing until you get to the upper part at the same time keep on tracing your stitches Keep tracing your stitches and sewing the two sides at the same time you are aligning them you are aligning the rows so go ahead and do that until the end repeat on the other side and even on this small opening over here then the final thing you're going to do is to weave in your ends and then make a long chain you're going to fix it on your waist after weaving in your ends, you can now take your string and just pass it on the waist, like fixing, fix it on the waist, and you're just going to fix it on these back loops, the two of them. Just keep on pulling your string in those back loops all around, and you are done. So thank you so much for watching you know i appreciate you if you haven't subscribed please subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this pair of shorts yeah share with your friends and feel free to tag me after recreating this uh, you can follow me on instagram my brand is called bayaoko i'll be so happy to repost your work on my page so until next time, have a good time. Bye.